Sex talks about apps. Uh huh. Hello, everybody. Dalek Sex here at the Voice of Sex on Twitter. Should you feel so inclined, this is Sex Plays Hack X. <clears throat> spelled H A C K E X. I have just finished, um, ostensibly finished anyway, Adventure Capitalist, and did like all 500 achievements. So I'm in the mood for, or at least in the market, for a new, what would you call them, incremental games, I suppose. They've gone a bit far beyond clickers. Uh, and that's where I found Hack X. Which is sort of like a clicker game, only with a Clash of Clans style player versus player element. Now, what I'm going to do is show you around the main, um, the main screen and then take you on a tour of what ostensibly counts as a raid in this game. You've got your processes here. That all looks very hackily, doesn't it? Uh, we've got the scan that, uh, gives you five, um, Five other users who are around your firewall level. Uh, this is your bank account. Uh, your checking account is where your generated income comes in. That can be stolen by other hackers. But, you know, the more you... It's, it's like Clash of Clans. You, you check into your account. You take it out of the out of the collectors, essentially, and put it into the... Put it into the bank. And that's that, that's safe now. That's safe now from other hackers. Uh, the store is where you buy your shit. You can upgrade your software, uh, your, your carrier and your mobile device. The mobile device and carrier cannot be stolen. They are you, they are sort of like your, your hard, your hard shit. Whereas every, all the software can be stolen from other players. So it's my advice if you're starting up with this, save your money to spend on your mobile phone and your, and your network upgrading it to, uh, 4G and above and what have you. Uh, contacts, that's for social. Don't know what that does. Your log. Apparently, this is rather interesting. This is, uh, the log of what's been happening to you. Apparently other players who are high level can edit this. Uh, and I will be definitely interested in uh, how that how that pans out in the long game. Here are my apps. Um, now, the the chief one that you want to pay attention to here is spam, because when you hack somebody, you can upload spam to their phone, and this keeps track of all of the other players I've uploaded spam to, and that's generating me 100... Uh, I've got 15 processes running for 135 bitcoins an hour. Now, if they log in and notice, then they can remove it from their phone, which will cut into your profit, but only if they have antivirus software high enough to remove it. The rest of it is pretty... Uh, Pretty self-explanatory. You've got the antivirus. Spyware allows you to look at other people's logs, and I'm not sure how that works. Uh, firewall is how difficult you are to enter. Bypasser is how good you are at entering other people. Password cracker is how good you are at entering other people's bank accounts. And password encryptor is the um, is the defensive version of that. So. All that bearing in mind, uh, I'm going to scan for some other users. Uh, password, I'll do, we'll go with the... See if we can find a level one. Yeah, there's a level one, we'll do that. Uh, right, this has been added as a process. Right, processes. This is now on my bypassing menu, so you can see that just like Adventure Capitalist, it puts up a, um, a progress bar. Uh, we're trying to crack a level one firewall with a level, I think it might be level two, um, gadget. So we'll see how this goes. Dum de dum. Bypass successful. Right. Once the bypass is successful, the bypassing process screen becomes basically a location hub, uh, from where you can visit by pressing hack other people's devices. Uh, they can personalize these screens to, to you know, them a bit more memorable, a bit more homely. I am in Crazy Hacker 662's 
device. Right, first of all, bank account. Crack this. Uh, we've got a level 10 password cracker, and he's got level 1 encryption. That will probably net us fuck all, but we'll try and crack it anyway. Uh, what else? Scan? No. We'll go to his apps folder, and we will spam. Now, you have to choose what level spam you're going to put up. Now, you see, I am at level... He's at level 1 antivirus, so all I have to do is upload level 2, and he won't be able to remove that until he, until he levels. Which is fine. Now we get out of this, and we go to our processes. Right, here we are. Cracking and network use different resources. Uh, network depends on your bandwidth. Uh, uploading spam level 1 only takes a minute or two. Three. Uh, I'm doing a level two, which takes ten minutes. Uh, the the full the full shebang is going to take you a day or two. Depends on your um, on on the rewards that you want. Uh, the cracking, on the other hand, is dependent on your device's processor speed. Anyway, we have finished cracking the password on his bank account, so we're going to go back into that IP now. And we're going to go to his bank and log in. And he's got fuck all there, just as I expected. Uh, the difficulty curve in this game is fairly colossal. I've, I've probably hacked about 30 or 40 people in my first, in my first day. And only one of them had any money. And that was 36 bitcoins. And you need thousands to be buying your upgrades. So, you know, it's all. It's all incremental, it's all... Depends what you want in a game. This is this is some fairly hardcore gameplay. The, um, the initial difficulty curve is pretty legit. And, you know, if you're asked to some... Uh, if, if, you, if, you've, if, you do, if your brain is devolved into clicker games like mine has, but you still miss the, miss the PvP of Clash of Clans, then, you know, this is for you. Um... Uh, the other thing you can, the other thing I should show you before I go, is if you go into the apps, uh, it will tell you what the uh, what the guy's software is compared to yours. Now, any of these apps can be stolen by you, and that doesn't steal them from him. It just makes a copy, as it would if you were downloading from a real site, and that can take you know. That can take minutes. That can take hours, depending on how big the thing you're trying to download is, and that. Pretty much is Hack X explained. I think it's fucking great. I'm not sure I'm going to have the uh, the patience to go with it long term, but I can certainly see it going into the long game rather well. Right, night all. I'm off to get pissed.